English in Spain, the rise of Emmy. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of English as a medium of instruction, or Emmy, focusing particularly on its use in Spain. Spain, known for its rich history, art, and of course, the beautiful Spanish language, has seen an increasing shift towards using English in its education system. Let's explore how and why this is happening. Before diving into Spain, let's briefly understand what EMI is. EMI refers to the use of the English language to teach academic subjects in countries or jurisdictions where the first language of the majority of the population is not English. Spain, like many European nations, has traditionally valued multilingualism. However, up until the late 20th century, the main focus was largely on French and German. English was introduced in some schools but wasn't a widespread medium of instruction. The turn of the century saw a global shift towards English, recognizing it as the lingua franca for business, technology, and academia. The early 2000s saw a new wave in Spain's education policy. The country realized the importance of English for international competitiveness. Many schools, especially private institutions, started offering subjects using EMI. This wasn't just about teaching English, it was about teaching in English. For example, a student might learn history or science in English rather than Spanish. The adoption of EMI in Spain has shown multiple benefits. 1. Enhanced English proficiency. Students exposed to EMI tend to show a better grasp of the English language, not just in terms of vocabulary but in practical usage. 2. Global opportunities. With a good command of English, Spanish students find it easier to pursue further studies abroad or secure jobs in multinational companies. 3. Cognitive advantages. Learning in a second language can sharpen cognitive skills, improve multitasking abilities, and increase attention spans. While there are clear benefits, Spain also faced challenges. 1. Teacher training. Not every educator is fluent in English, and training them has been a substantial investment. 2. Resistance to change. Some regions in Spain, especially those with strong regional identities, have shown resistance to the widespread adoption of EMI, feeling that it could overshadow their local language and culture. 3. Implementation inconsistencies. There's variability in how EMI is implemented from one institution to another, leading to different outcomes for students. The journey of EMI in Spain, like in many countries, is a blend of ambition, challenges, and achievements. As we move forward in an increasingly globalized world, the role of English as a medium of instruction will likely continue to evolve. We hope this video gave you an insightful look into the world of EMI in Spain. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.